Hey everybody, I believe that we are now live. Let me go ahead and share my screen here. And can you guys give me a one in the chat real quick if you can hear me and you can see my screen. And we will get started in just a second. Hey Mike, I see you. Okay, cool. I think we are ready to go then. So I'm going to, um, well, just to, to review in case any of you have not been here before, we do this Rainmakers Live every week and the purpose is to teach you the latest and most effective customer acquisition skills and strategies to make money for yourself or others. So if you have your own business, this is very helpful for you. If you will have your own business in the future, this is very helpful for you. Or you just wanna know a very high value skill that people will pay you handsomely for, then this is for you as well. This happens same time every week, Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern, and it's always the same place, dominatethemarketplace.net slash rainmakers. So if you wanna make it, put a recurring event in your calendar because same time, same place every week, and also join the Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash rainmakers live. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it for today. So last week, I showed you how to create a website in like 15 minutes. And that was specifically for a bridge page for affiliate promotions. And, um, it, but you can do the same thing for your own, for your own product, for your own business, for whatever. I mean, if you have that skill of being able to put up a website and get it live published on the internet within 15 minutes, that's an extremely valuable skill because now you're not confined to just having one website and hoping that that works, right? Now you can test different designs, especially if, and you can do the same thing if you have, if you only have one website at a time, but you can tweak different things and you don't have to wait for some web developer to do it for you then that's extremely valuable to have. So that's that's what we did last week. And if you missed last week, I, I definitely recommend that you go back and take a look at the replay. This week, I'm gonna show you how to promote your website. So this is something that a lot of people have trouble with, right? There's a lot of people out there that will spend a lot of time or a lot of money on making a website that looks really, really nice, but then nobody comes and visits the website Nobody buys their products and it was all a waste, right? So no point having a great website if nobody's going to go to it. That whole thing, that, that old saying of build it and they will come, it doesn't work that way, at least not anymore, right? Build it and it will get ignored forever unless you give people, unless you push people towards it in some, one way or another. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do here. So what I'm going to do, um, like last week, I'm going to use the self-employment tax credit offer as a um, as a, a use case. Now you don't have to use this offer if you don't want. You're more than welcome to use this for any use it use this information for any other offer. Um, it's I mean it'll work for everything. But in case you don't have your own product, then this is uh, I recommend it. So if you missed it. What that, what this is, this is called the self-employed tax credit or SETC for short. And so what that is, is if you were self-employed in 2020 or 2021, then you can get several thousand bucks back from the government that was part of a COVID relief bill. Now, most people that were self-employed do not know this. And so what you're doing essentially is there is this accounting company that will will file this tax credit for self-employed people. And so if you will and they take a percentage of the of the money that they're getting. Right. So that's how this company makes its money. And then if you will refer people to this company and they go through them and they get the tax credit, then you get a percentage of the fee that they take. Right. So I really like this offer is just what is it is a test offer. I mean, it's not going to be around forever. I don't I don't I'm not saying you should build your whole life's business around this, 
but it's a really good test offer because for one thing, it's a super easy sell because it's, it's basically just free money, right? You're saying, Hey, sign up for this thing. It takes a few minutes and you can get a thousand or 2000 or 5,000. I think it goes up to like 22,000. It, it all depends on how much money you paid in taxes in the 2020 and 2021 tax years. Right. So it's, it's, it varies across the board, but, the average person is probably going to get at least a thousand dollars back from this in just free money. Um, so it's it, you don't and they don't have to pay anything out of pocket, right? When they get money back, they pay a percentage to the accounting company. So they're like, there's nothing, there's no cost to them out of pocket. They only pay when they get paid. So if they get, um, if they get a, I think the the company charges 20% or 1100 minimum. So if let's say they get $10,000 back from the government and then they have to pay 2000 to the company, they only have to pay after they've already gotten the 10,000, right? So they're still up by $8,000. So it's, I mean, like everybody wins in this. So you don't have to convince somebody to pull out their credit card. Like there's no payment necessary at all. They, they get paid. It's just the money, the government is funding all of it. So it's probably one of the easiest things to sell that you're going to find. Um, so, okay. And, and last time I told you, I wasn't sure what the payment structure was, but I got that information. It is a 10% affiliate payment. So that means that if you get somebody $10,000, then they're going to get their the fee to the company is going to be 2000 and then you get 10% of that 2000 which would be 200 right and then their like their minimum fee is 1100 so the minimum that you would get would be $110 right that's 10% of 1100 so you would you would be getting one hundred and ten dollars plus per person that you got to do this. Um, so that's that's how it works. Again, if you're interested, then oh oh, and another thing too I didn't mention is that they you can get sub affiliates too. So if you want other people to be, become affiliates and then they can sell to other people, then um, then you get paid for what they sell as well. You have to you have to get a few deals of your own before you can have sub affiliates because they want to see that you're like you're actually selling the thing. You're not. This isn't turning into some pyramid scheme. Um, but that's a just another aspect to it. Uh, if you're interested, then then message or email me your full name and email address. And I will add you to it and I have to do it manually and they'll send you an email. Um, so you can message me if you're live here, you can message me in the chat. If you're not, if you're watching the replay, you can send me an email. Okay, so that's what we're gonna be using as our kind of test case here. So what I'm gonna show you is, I'm gonna start very, very simple. Like the easiest ways that you can get people to visit your website, whether it's an affiliate page or it's some other website. So the first thing, that I recommend that you do is you buy a domain, which is something that is easy to remember and that you can give to people. And when they go to the domain, so it could be like setcmoney.com. And when they go to that domain, then it automatically redirects them to your affiliate page, right? Because your affiliate page looks something like this. It's, where is it? Broker dashboard. And you'll get you'll get a page like this if you sign up for this offer. But you have this. It's this thing. It's like, let me let me write it in here so you can actually see it. So gigworkersolutions.com slash SETC. What's that question mark source equals CS dash eight H I, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like nobody's ever going to remember that. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple link that that redirects to this, that people can remember and that can people can easily type into a browser. So if we go to 
let's say GoDaddy. There's a whole bunch of different places <clears throat> where you can buy domains. And so I can just like look for a domain. So let's say setcmoney.com. No, I'll search domains. And so, okay, so this one's already taken, but I could get setcmoney.net. I could get that one. Or I could get etcmoney.com. Or there's a whole bunch of, of, like a whole bunch of related ones. setcmoney.live.me or satcmoney.money. <laughs> so you just find one that's fairly easy to remember. And actually, SETC is, is a little bit, it's an acronym, so I probably wouldn't use that. <clears throat> so let's say self-employed tax. Uh, or set, self, let's say self-employed tax credit. I mean, that's a bit long. So I could get, oh, how about this? It's your tax credit.com. That's not bad. I like that. Or actually, what if I do, what if I just do your tax credit? Okay. So this is a premium domain. It's pretty expensive. You probably don't want to do that. But you could do yourtaxcredit.org is cheap. Yourtaxcredit.co is cheap. Right? So you could just buy one of these. Yourtaxcredit.co. That's pretty easy to remember. <laughs> Yourtaxcredit.sucks. I haven't seen that one before. But um, that I wouldn't recommend that in this case. But it's funny. It's easy to remember. So in some other cases, maybe. Taxcreditus.com. That's not bad. Your tax credit.ai, that's not bad. But anyway, you just find one of those that's easy to remember and it's short. That's what you're looking for here. And it's it's easy for somebody to type it in in a web browser, especially online. So once you buy one of those, then what you want to do is redirect it to your site. So I'm not gonna buy a new site because I got a I already got a bunch of domains that like some of them I've I haven't used in years. So I'm gonna show you how this works. So these are, these are my domains that I got right now. And I'm going to go ahead. First of all, I'm going to copy my, my, this is, this is the affiliate link that you want, by the way, it's the SETC landing page link. And actually, if you go and, and just take a look at that, you can see that it's a, it's a pretty convincing page. Like you don't really need to sell people on it that much. All you need to do is get them to visit the page. And then there's a video, there's an explanation. There's like, hey, here's how much money people have gotten. Like the this page is pretty good at selling on its own. So, okay. So anyway, that's my link. And what I want to do is redirect my domain to my link. Now I've done this a few times and I always forget how to do it. So anything tech related, basically what I do is I figure out how to do it once. And then every time I want to do it in the future, I just go look back at what I did last time and copy it. So that's what I'm going to do here. So here is a domain that I have that is it's called datacareer.biz. And I'm going to look at what I did. So, okay. So I got these two URL records and they redirect. So it's like, this is the, this is the site or that's the domain. And then this is the place I want to redirect to. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'll just use, I'll use my best resource.co here. I wanted like a super generic domain name. So for like affiliate marketing that I could use for just about anything. So best resource.co, that was about as generic as I could find. So let's go to DNS. And well, let me let me show you what happens now. So if I go to re bestresource.co by itself, then 
it just gives me an error. It doesn't find anything. So let me, okay, let me go back here and I'm gonna go to manage DNS records and I will add a record, a URL record. And by the way, I'm using a service called DNS Simple. You're more than like welcome to use that one if you, if you like, I've been using it for years, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, if you're doing this in GoDaddy, it's, it's very similar, but you add a DNS record, make it a URL record, and then I'm gonna leave that blank. I'm gonna paste my, my um, what should we call it? My affiliate link here. I'm gonna hit add record. And then I'm gonna do a second one with the little asterisk. So I'm going to add record URL. I'll put a little asterisk in here. Destination, I will uh, paste and then I will add record. And then, okay, and then I believe that I am done because it looks like the same thing as I did there. And then you probably wanna make sure that you have like all the HTTPS and WWW in here. And so now if I go to bestresource.co, then, It worked, awesome. So it redirected me. Sometimes it may take a minute or two to update. I'm not entirely sure how it works. But anyway, so now instead of having to share this big long thing, I can just tell anybody, go to bestresource.co and um, and get your, your thing, right? And, and so obviously bestresource.co is not a very good name for this. And I'm actually gonna trash both of those records because I don't actually, want that. Um, that was just a, a demo. But if you have like your tax co, people will remember that. Just go to your tax co and and that's easy for other people to remember and it's easy for you to remember, right? Because you're not going to remember this whole thing here. Right. So um does that make sense so far? Give me a, a yes in the chat if that makes sense. Or give me a no in the chat if you're totally lost and have no idea what I'm talking about. <clears throat> okay, I think we're good. So, um, <clears throat> okay, so that's, this is very helpful because now you can share this link anywhere, right? You can share it with people that you meet in person, you can share it on your social media, you can send ads to it, you can create brochures to promote it, like there's infinite ways to promote this link. So I'm gonna get into some of the like easiest and most low tech ways to promote this link once you got it. So the first one I'm gonna recommend is a business card. So if I go over to, let's say I'll go over to Canva, this is my favorite tool for anything design related. And they have, if I just like search for business card, um, okay, I'll just say cleaning business cards, why not? Just cause it came up. Uh, okay. And, oh, no, just do a blank one. That's good. Now, actually, I want to show you real quick the, the, what a typical business card looks like. And then I'm going to show you what I recommend that you do. So this is a typical business card, right? It shows if it'll load for me. There we go. So it shows basically the person's name, the person's position, the name of the company, and then how to get in touch with that person. That's kind of the typical design. So this is really only compelling for somebody that already wants to talk to Olivia Wilson. For anybody else, this is not gonna be compelling at all. And so I generally don't recommend doing this kind of generic business card, 
um, except in one use case, which I'm actually going to talk about in a minute. But for if you want to get somebody's interest in something, think of your business card like an ad. And your ad wants you want to have an, a headline that gets somebody's interest. And so here's what I recommend that you do. Put a text and then I will make this make the color black because the um, because the, the background's white. And we are going to write a headline that will get somebody's interest. And so I'm going to use actually I'm going to use the whole front of the business card just for the headline. So I could say something like self-employed or gig worker. And this, this font is terrible. I generally like this font called Anton just because it, it can kind of cram more into a smaller space. So like the letters are less wide. So let's say, and this is, this font is too big. So I'm going to reduce that somewhat. Or so maybe I say, were you self-employed or doing gig work in 2020 slash 2021? And so that's just kind of a call out. Now, have you, give me a, tell me in the chat, have you ever seen a business card that had anything that looks like this? Have you seen a business card that looks anything like this? My guess is probably not. And if you have, it's probably not something that you see very often, right? So the fact that we're calling out a certain type of person and we have a very unusual business card design is immediately going to grab somebody's attention who is in this situation, right? So um, for example, I mean, like if you are, if somebody calls out who you are, like what category you're in and says, where are you in this category? Um, if somebody says, for example, um, is your name Steve Henson? And uh, and it, it, that's like on a business card, that's going to get your attention and be like, what? Wow, this like this person knows who I am. Or is were you are you a, a self-employed plumber that um, that drives a, a Ford Taurus? <laughs> like the more specific you get, the more people are like, whoa, like it, it just grabs their interest to make it even better. We're gonna, you could leave it white. White is good. Or we could choose like a really ugly color. Like, like how about this, this weird peach color? That's pretty ugly. So that will get people's attention even more. Our, we're not trying to be beautiful here. We're trying to get attention, right? So that I would make that the, the whole front of my business card, the back of my business card, I am going to essentially make the same thing. Um, and actually, can I just see if I can delete this page and duplicate this one? That would be better. There we go. Okay. Okay. So this one, this is like the the front is designed to get attention. And so when I whenever I lay my business card down somewhere, if I put it in a stack or something, I'm going to have this side up because this is what I want people to see first. On the other side, I'm going to give a little bit more description. So it's like, okay, I got their attention. Now I, I got to explain a little bit of like what I'm talking about. So um, let me, I'm going to reduce the font somewhat. And, and keep in mind that this is going to be a, a little business card. It's not going to be big, right? You see it on the screen, it's big, but in real life, it's going to be small. So don't make don't try to write too much. Don't try to cram too much in there or the letter's going to get pretty small. So let's say I could say um, the IRS 
probably owes you money from the self-employed tax credit, SETC, and then maybe I Maybe let me see if I can duplicate that and I'm going to make a second text and say, see how much you're owed now. Takes 30 seconds. And then maybe I'll put that in a font that isn't so bold. Like this Anton font is kind of bold by design. So let's try this ABZ. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a little better. And maybe, maybe I make the font a little bit smaller here so I can get that in two lines. And I could make this a different color, make it red. Again, we're not going for pretty here. We're going for um, attention getting. And then of course, at the bottom, we will put our domain. yourtaxcredit.co, for example, if that's your domain, we will position that and make it nice and big. There we go. And maybe I'll mess with the, well, I think the colors are fine. I think that's good. And then, okay. Um, and maybe just me being nitpicky, maybe I go and put that back as Anton. Just because I, I made it red, I made it a different color. So I just wanted it to stand out. Like I, I wanted these two lines to stand out. So having this, having this one is red, that makes them stand out. I'm satisfied with that. Let me make that just a little bit bigger. Um, again, just being nitpicky here, this really doesn't matter very much. And then you want to keep the keep a little bit of space from the edges just because sometimes the business cards don't print perfectly. So I think those are probably good. And that's it. Like this is it for your business card. And I think with Canva, yeah, you can actually get them printed with Canva. You can print a whole bunch of these for like 20 bucks or maybe even less. And uh, you can, um, and you can just print on whatever is the cheapest paper. Again, you're not trying to make these beautiful. You're trying to get people's attention. And so you don't like, you don't have your phone number on here. You don't have your name. Like none of that is relevant. It's just like, Hey, here's what we can do for you. Here's the site to go do it at. That's pretty much it. Does this make sense? Give me a, a three in the chat if this makes sense. And then from here, what do you do with this thing? Well, there's a whole bunch of ways that you can use it, right? So when you, whenever you come face to face with somebody who is likely to be a gig worker, right? Like you order a delivery from DoorDash you can give one of these cards to the guy that delivers your stuff. Or if you talk to somebody and he mentions that he's an Uber driver, you give it to him. If you talk to a business owner, right? Like if you go to eat at a restaurant and the, let's say it's one of those restaurants where you just order up at the counter and it's a small business and the, it's the business owner that talks to you, you could say, hey, by the way, did you know that you get like, thousands of dollars back from the government for free because of COVID relief money, take a look at this website. That's it, right? You can can give that to 
just about anyone. You can also leave it in places, right? You can, if you ever go to a restaurant or a church or something and you see like a stack of business cards, like everybody leaves their business cards, especially if they put it in a place like, like there's this one restaurant that I go to a lot where they, when you stand in line, there's the piles of business cards are on a table right beside where you're standing in line. So people are standing in line, they're already bored, they're just looking at stuff around. That's the ideal place to have your business cards. So put a, a little stack of those business cards there. Um, and yeah, I mean, this it's basically free advertising. They're, I mean, you, you pay a tiny little bit of money for the business cards to get them printed, but for like every one of them is like one cent or something. So you're, it's, it's almost free advertising. You can, and you can be creative with it too. You can, if you see a car in a parking lot that has one of those Uber, like, what do they think? They have those things in the dashboard that says that this is an Uber. Put one, put one of your business cards under the, the wind, the windshield wiper or in the little door handle, if you can fit it in there, right? There's like in this, I mean, you probably notice this multiple times every day if you're out. And so it's, it's just easy and it's free. Um, and so, and of course you could do this with whatever, if you have another business, you could do this as well. It's just, just, I mean, it's not like the most scalable method of making money, but it's, it's dead simple. It's almost free. And if you want to get your first few sales easily, then this works great. Okay, so so this is this is like the kind of promotional business card. Now I have another another thing that I was I was thinking about this, and it dawned on me. I was gonna I was this is the only thing I was gonna show today, but then I realized if you actually have a time to have a conversation with somebody, then there's a better strategy than this. Right. The one drawback to this is it's very promotional. It's very obvious when somebody sees this that you are trying to promote this thing. And whenever you're trying to promote something, then people's guard goes up a little bit. Right. They know that you're promoting something. They they know that you're probably going to make money off of it in some way. And they're kind of thinking, hmm, OK, so what's the catch? So if you find yourself in an organic conversation, let's say that you actually have to take an Uber somewhere and you're in an Uber for 20 minutes and you're talking with the driver and you, um, you're, you already have a, a friendly conversation. If you were to mention this self-employed tax credit, chances are the Uber driver is going to be interested. You could give him one of these these cards, which would be good. I mean, it's better than nothing. But if he takes a look at the card and is like, hmm, this thing looks awfully promotional. I thought this was just an organic conversation with a new friend that was trying to help me out. But now it looks like it's something promotional. He might have second thoughts, right? And even though this is just free money for people, I mean, they, you know, they do have to pay a percentage of it, but even though it's just free money, it, people still are skeptical, right? If you tell people they can get free money, probably the first thing in their mind is, oh, it's probably not real. It's probably a scam, right? So the, the better you can do to avoid that, um, that's helpful. So in part of it too, also is this like, see this takes 30 seconds. I put that on purpose because people are seeing this and they're thinking, okay, it's probably a scam. Like 90% chance this is a scam and it's not real. But if it only takes 30 seconds, then maybe it's worth checking just on the off chance that it's that 10% that it's not a scam, right? Make it seem as low Imp as low effort as possible. And by the way, I don't I don't know how long it takes to check. Um, it might be more than 30 seconds. I always try to be honest in my marketing. I just put that as an offhand. But if I was actually going to print these cards, I would go and actually do it myself and time how much it takes. And then I say it takes 
15 seconds. It takes 42 seconds, you know, whatever. Um, just cause I mean, that's, uh, that, that's the way that I recommend doing it. Um, not that it really makes a big difference, but the point is that it doesn't take very long. But if you put like a specific number on it, then it makes it more real than it's just, it's quick. It doesn't take very long. It takes 30 seconds is better than it doesn't take long. So, okay. So I was, if you're in an organic conversation, sorry, I'm, I'm rambling and going off on a tangent here. If you're in an organic conversation with an Uber driver or somebody who is a business owner or self-employed in whatever way, then what's better than giving them one of these is to do something that feels like it's more spur of the moment. You can still use a business card, but in, in this case, I would use one of these business cards, right? I would say, hey, here's my business card that is for a cleaning service, has nothing to do with the thing that I just told you. Then I would get out a pen and on the back of the business card, I would write yourtaxcredit.co. I might even I might even write a, a little headline. It's like um, free for, like free tax credit from for self-employed and then write the what well, yourtaxcredit.co. So you see the difference here is because in this case it looks promotional. In this case, it looks organic. It's like I'm just helping out somebody with this cool thing that I'm referring them to. So this is this is going to be more more helpful or, or more what would you say more effective in that particular situation. Now, if it's somebody that's like you order a DoorDash, somebody comes to your your door and hands you food. Well, you're probably not really going to have the opportunity to strike up a conversation with them. So then, you know, pulling out a business card and writing on the back would not really make sense. In that case, you'd be better giving them one of these. But if it's something that you actually talk to and you introduce the thing and you then this will work better if you write on the back of this. So if you already have business cards, and it really helps if they're blank on the back, by the way, <laughs> or at least have some blank space on them where you can write. But if you already have business cards, then this is awesome. Um, then that that's great. Or if you want to get some business cards printed, then it's really easy to just use this template and like put your name and your your information in here. Just put whatever your job is or whatever your business is, and then and then just print out some of those business cards and you have you have and then keep some of both and obviously you don't have to do both of these but they're two different strategies you could have your generic business cards plus your promotional business cards and you could pull out one or the other depending on the situation so yeah so that's it for today um give me a like give me a oh a Y in the chat if this was helpful. Give me a N if the chat if this was a giant waste of time and um, and like I, I owe you forty minutes back. <laughs> I'm hoping this was helpful because this will work for anything, right? I'm using this SETC affiliate business is a is a use case, but it really it doesn't matter what your business is or what affiliate offer you're promoting, this will work if your your if you can get in front of the right people, right? If you if you can come face to face with the right people. So if you have an offer that you're selling solar panels in New York, but you live in Florida, this, you know, it's not going to work, right? Because you're not talking to anybody in the in your target market. But if you are selling a or you're you're promoting a service for self-employed people and you talk to self-employed people then it works or you come across them or you see their car in the parking lot and you can put a, a little business card inside the um in under the windshield and you could do like bigger brochures would be exactly the same thing right the same idea uh so there's there's a million different ways that you can do this and having that short link is really, really helpful. 
So your homework for today is to, number one, create your short link. And, and you know, whether it's for the affiliate offer or for whatever else you want to promote, number one, create your short link. And number two is create some business cards. Either the, I, I mean, I, I recommend, if you have to choose between one of one of the two, I would recommend doing the promotional card because you can just kind of leave it places. But, uh, and you could, I mean, even if you have a conversation with an Uber driver, you could still give them the promotional one, right? It's still better than nothing. So I would, uh, so homework is to create your short link that redirects to your affiliate page and to create a business card, at least the promotional one. If you want extra credit, then create the generic one as, as well if you don't already have it. And then again, if you want me to sign you up for the SETC offer to be an affiliate, then just send me your full name and email address and I'll get you signed up for that. And Steve sa Steven says, now when I go out in public, I'll pay more attention if the place has designated area for business cards. <laughs> yep, good thinking, awesome. So cool. So that's it for today. And then next week, I'm going to get into some some more ways to promote. Probably I'll get into something that's a little bit higher tech. But I wanted to start with the, the lo really low tech because uh, and it's not totally low tech, right? Because we are using a, a website link. But the this is like the lowest hanging fruit. And it it's still all the same principles apply. Right. So if I'm running YouTube ads, for example, which is kind of my specialty, then I'm going to I'm going to make something that's like, hey, it's it's gets people's interest or gets people's attention right away. It calls out the sort of person that I want and then gets their interest and then gets them to go to a link and take action. Right. It's the same thing as we're doing in this business card. So the principles are the same for every different platform. But um, it's there are there are some differences, but there's more that's the same than that's different. So I want to start with kind of like the most basic and we'll get a little bit more complex from there. So next week I will get into more different ways, but I highly recommend that you start with this. Start simple, actually do it because that will get it ingrained into your mind. You get the practice and then you'll be more prepared for the more complicated things we do later on. So thank you guys. Thanks for listening. And I'll see you all next week. Same place, same time. Bye, everybody.